What it do, y'all? It's your boy Drew Blue back at it again for another first time reaction. Today we are gonna be covering a project that was just dropped today by um, Eric Bellinger. It's a collab project that he's doing with Neiman J. Um, the project is called Optic. I don't know why that slipped off my tongue. Optimal Music is what the project is called, and it's 11 tracks deep. Definitely got a couple features here and there. Um, some reoccurring features who Eric Bellinger has worked with the past couple of years by the names of Wale and Jeremiah will make an appearance. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, um, I've never heard of Neiman J. And this is gonna be my first time listening to him, so I'm hoping he's flames, man. Cause I tell you this right now, like if it's anything to how these new artists sounds these past couple of years, I probably would be turning it down. But yeah, um, I don't got no gripes with Eric Bellinger, especially from coming from his last project, Cuffin' Season Three, which really, if you ask me, felt more like a rebirth too, if anything. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that Eric Bellinger, as he made that transition, kind of like going back to his old self, making songs about just like, you know, being happy and, you know, in that one love, you know, kind of relationship, as you're hearing right now, make up for it. One of my favorite joints by this dude, and easily my favorite slow jam by him. <laughs> Hands down, from Cupping Season, the OG one. Um, but yeah. So I don't want to waste any more time, man. I'm really ready to listen to this 11 track reaction, you know, project and react to it for the first time. So you guys already know how the <laughs> how to um the line goes. If I can't stop screwing up, you know the drill. Cut the chat, get in the track, and vibe out. Track number one. <laughs> Track number one is titled, whenever it pops up, Cheat Code Mode, and it has a feature by the name of, let me see, okay, he's got Young Thug, and I'm trying to see the second name, ooh, Joe Moses, I haven't seen him and Eric Bellinger collab for a minute, alright, Cheat Code Mode, let's get it. record every time i hear young thug on a feature because i don't look for his music or listen to it in general and i don't mean that no disrespect i just never i i forget to do it man but my point is every time he's on a feature this dude surprises me with some different unique flow this dude is doing it again young thug bro honestly must be the most underrated artist in the game right now and he's part of the industry, and yet he just kills it, man. Continue, young. Money, money, so much money coming in. I 
just write another song and then cut the check again. I got money, 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 so much money to myself. And my life is on cheat code mode, you can tell. I don't need no raggy in my pocket. In the middle, every time I hit the track. I'm the man now, everybody watch it. I'm a genius, only thing I do is practice. She want a boss, at least. Say I'm a dog, the peach. You try to put that in the leaf, yeah. You gotta put that in the leaf, yeah. I be off the drink, but you know I'm soft. You keep it up. You try to put that in the leaf, yeah. I'm trying to put that in the leaf, yeah. Now I never make back matters, you got me tired. Rich as a but who are so rats, yeah. So they want the real, these niggas are so capping. Honey, I'm gonna all on one, don't do blast the cigarette. I had to research this real quick because I don't know. I don't think I heard Neiman J in here, so I want to see if he's an actual artist or if he's just a producer. And this ended up just being a producer artist kind of like combination. Neiman J, let me see. So he's under a musical artist, RB Soul. Okay. I'm trying to research. There's not much about this dude, bro. But I see a song right here called Say Less. Okay, so he's definitely an artist. But I didn't hear him here unless I missed him. So I don't know how he sounds like just yet. I missed it because, like I said, Young Thug is so unique. He could sound like 20 other different people, almost. Because his voice, the way he changes his voice, he really is that versatile, man. Like, he could sound like 20 different complete people. So Young Thug, once again, just shines through. This dude is the ultimate feature killer. I don't think there's anybody out there that just kills features like Young Thug. I'm sorry, but he's the undisputed number one feature killer. Like, on top. Like, uncontested. Anyways, before I sound like a broken record. Um, Eric Bellinger, as far as him. I, when I look to, you know, when I look for his music, I look for the actual, like, down-to-earth R&B songs. Like, I really look at this dude as a contemporary you know like r&b singer that's really about making songs that are for you know lifelong couples i'm talking about people who are still you know and it's not like it's extinct there are people out there that you know practice monogamy ah, lord have mercy but obviously the practice of really just keeping abstinence alive until you are married or you know just people who are who have been with the same person and just, you know, like, it's just like those type of people. I feel like Eric Bellinger is at his best when he makes love songs that is just for, you know, the wifey and the hubby to go out and do their thing and stuff like that. So when he was trying to make Trap Bangers, his first one was Squad. I didn't mind it because he kind of, he has that swagger to where, you know, when he sang on some of his R&B songs, especially like on Cuff and Season, he definitely has that flow. And I like that flow. And if he uses that when he starts singing to go, you know, pretty much boss out and flex like he did here on um chico mode i definitely dig with that you know i just don't want him to sound you know on that trap you know that trap crap shit that he was making on um that one uh project saved by the uh, bellinger i didn't like that like there was a couple tracks i did not fuck with it because he was definitely hopping on trends but this this is different this is him getting back to the basics and i'm happy to hear that um but yeah i can't wait to hear some new r&b joints because cuffing season three Bro, 
I, I'm dead serious. I only listened to it once. That first time reaction, that's the only time I've listened to it. And I'm saving it until my lady comes through from New York, man. That's it. As soon as she flies by here and meets me here in LA, that's we are bumping that. It'll be my second time listening to it, but that's it. You know what I mean? Like, second time listening with two, you know, lovebirds together. I say, why not? You know, make the occasion special. So I'm saving Cuff in Season 3 on the side. Believe me, y'all. If I... I would want to play that every day, but no, I'm going to keep it special because that project was something, man. I'm going to wait until she's here, right here next to me, and we'll be doing a vibe out session. I promise y'all, it's coming soon. Um, but yeah, let's get to track number two. This one's titled Couch Standing featuring Jeremiah. And you want to show me the other person? Real quick, phone. Oh, yeah, so this is the one with Jeremiah and Wallet. Cool. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay. Them 808s, baby. Ooh. Eric Badlinger knows how to get his 808s rocking. Couch stand getting fucked up. Where the baddie on me bounce six bands. I'm a pocket about to spin it all. Bought it to the third side. I'm going to tell them right out. Yeah, it's right from the board. Yo, part of your drip still catch me. Spread it down. I heard can't let my top fall back. Hey. Yeah, two niggas got you doing all that. Look. Tell you baby about it right now. You the man. Couch stand getting fucked up. Where the baddie on me bounce six bands. That right there is OJ Wale. Did I say OJ Wale? <laughs> I meant OG. But he definitely got the juice on this one. Oh my god. Vintage Wale, man. This is when he was. I missed that trap flow that he was doing. Like he did it on tats on my arms when he was back, when, you know, when he was with MMG. I don't know if he's still with him, but. Anyways, I like when Wale goes in hard, bro. Fuck the singing shit. Just rap, bro. Like, <laughs> coldest spitter coming out of DC. That's all I'm going to say. Amen to that. Body eight frames till I can't see straight Cause it's Hennessy straight out seven Yeah, Hollywood ladies in the Hollywood Hell can't call them anywhere, no service Yeah, the bad, the break, no Chanel, no, the LV, no What is it? Mm -hmm. The Prada, oh, the Calvin Got them all about this thrift Standing on the couch like Rick James I'ma keep the money up in that chain though Tell me what the weather won't say though They be seeing anything, but they can't say bro No couch stand getting fucked up Where the baddie on me bounce six bands I'm a pocket about to spend it all Bought it, bought it, told the thirst I'm gonna pull them all right now Okay. I wouldn't even want to disrespect him. I really do think he's the king of R&B when he's at his A game. Um, but, like, it's just, you know, like I said, you already know what I 
what I be looking for when I'm trying to like listen to Eric Bellinger. But that being said, and me saying earlier that I want to keep cuffing season three on the side and waiting until my lady comes through. Um, there's some hard shit that's going to, you know, hold me over until those days come. But, um, man, I was surprised. He really, he literally came in and just spat some bars. Like, just rap, no singing. And then he's saying at the end, and I was like, eh, I'm not sure if you want to do that trap singing voice, though. But it was cool that he was rapping. He was, like, you know, whispering with that shit. Like, that was pretty intricate. That's something I would expect out of Tory Lanez. Just saying. But we're going to move on to the next track. Um, I liked everyone on the f- I liked everyone. I liked Jeremiah coming in. I like Wale coming in, doing his thing. You know, obviously he's rapping like he's just kind of like sticking to the script. But obviously the brother, if he really puts his mind in, his mind into it, the dude can really be a lyricist and destroy. I mean, that's that's proven in facts. Um, he's just really not on that level in this song. So, but regardless, I liked all three performances. We move on. Track number three. This one's titled Alone, featuring black blx i think that's what it is but i'm pretty sure it's pronounced black i could be wrong or is it blast i'm not sure or blast all i know is that for the longest of time i used to call um um the actual artist black i used to call him six lack (laughs) or something like that crazy but anyways, let's keep going. Pretty hot and public, but I'm probably you a freak. No, you can take it, I got time by your physique. You know I be picky about the company I keep. But I rock with you, the way you rock with me. I can't wait to get you alone. Cause you'll be on the type of shit that I'm on. Pun intended. <laughs> On multiple levels. Me first. Calm down. This song really got me in my feels, man. Oh, I, I really, really thought that he was going to like keep it like on that trapping joint all throughout. But I knew that he was definitely going to drop a couple love bangers. Um, he's really carrying on that OG feels again. Like, from Cuffin' Season 3, he's brought this over again on Alone. And I'm not going to lie. Like, this beat is going to give the Tory Lanez play Picasso production from Chick State 4 a run for its money for the best sample use of that original song by Bobby V. Um, Slow down. Man. 
I just wanna get to know you, but don't turn around. <laughs> oh my God, man. Yo. And no offense to black or whatever, how you pronounce your name. I needed more Eric Bellinger on that joint. That's too clean. Eric, that is way too clean to keep it one minute. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. That was a hit right there. I'm pretty sure sample clearance would have been easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, if Tori could do it, so can you. Um, but my God, bro, that was fire. And Tori slowed, he changed the melody of the original sample and kind of like made it sound like a different kind of song. And I fucks with that. Don't get me wrong. That's in my top three to Tori tracks of all time. But this one was like, he kept the same melody, same, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, he kept it at the same octave. He didn't lower it like Tori did. Kept it at the same and just made it into a nice slow jam banger. Like, this is perfect for the beach once all this quarantine bullshit is over. I believe May 18th is the uh, deadline before they extend it or, you know, when they decide to extend it or decide to actually just let this bullshit end once and for all. But, yeah, <sighs> I couldn't help but dance a bit. And, man, I got it got me singing at the end. I'm not going to lie. That song, Too Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to track number four, and this one's titled No Evidence. But low key, I'm bugging because I don't know where I put my phone. Let me pause this real quick. Woo! Found that shit. Uh, yeah, let me get this collared settled right here, real quick. I'm feeling. Let me go with blue. Nah, let me go green. And then blue in the back. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Let's go with that for track number four No Evidence. I haven't heard Neiman J just yet, so I think at this point he's just producing tracks for Eric Bellinger. But I'll know for sure on track number four because there's no features. It's just Eric Bellinger and Neiman J in the artist title. So if I hear a different voice that's not Eric Bellinger, I know that's for sure Neiman J. So let's see if we hear him for the first time on this track. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bust up, won't settle. I never stop again. She did, she special. Till me. I broke her heart again. Which whip, which bezel? It's gonna be hard to pick. New level, new devil. Put my guy to this. I can be regular, no. I spent the blood on the floor. Where did the evidence go? I guess we never would know. Pick a pedal off a Real quick, I really don't like this generic beat pattern. It's the most overplayed beat pattern. It's like as if everyone by the end of like 2017 and 2018 just got tired of hearing the 808s vibrate their cars the whole time and they're like, screw it. Let's just make an 808 kick and just let that bump every boom, boom, boom. Don't get me wrong, this 808 kick is actually pretty strong compared to some of the other type of beats I've heard, but like this beat has been used so many times by like thousand other artists. It's just like, I'm tired of hearing this beat again. It's like, can someone create something new or be unique? Hey, is that that hard to, you know, ask for? Brand over, let's go. Metal, metal, then I go. Never seen a drop like this. Hey, try to look the cake, but I'm sorry, that is not my drip. Think I would have verse like this. Yeah. And you know I'm a first round pick. Yeah. And it's 2020. What is doing? If you broke, then it don't make sense. Don't make sense. A fish pole that it don't need tense. And I own it, I don't do it. If no sound is to make me sick. The game got cold, try to make me bend. Long as I'm on it, it ain't been chill. Can't tell me shit. Sure. On the way, they see sick. Can't make me quit. Right I just burn rap up. No it's a big step up, prolific, like Nip said, dip this way, no effort, never get put on check, no. I'ma keep put on next, oh, I'ma just put on the tech, okay, Yo, Rick, I hear you, who next, yeah, boss the, boss set, I never stop, she did, she special, till I broke her heart again, which will, which special, it's gonna be hard to pay, no level, no devil, oh my God, to this, oh, 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 oh. 
You know what's funny is they kind of sound like Tiller right there at the end. But Tiller ain't even making songs like these. He made one song that sounded like that, but it was way before all this, like before this um, template was used, overused in my opinion. I want to say back in when Trap Soul came out, what song was it? No, no, I'm sorry. He used it for, I think, was it Check Yourself of um, his second album. But by then, though, nobody was using that type of beat. Nobody. And after that, it was like, new songs he released were pretty dope. I'm getting off topic. Go ahead, Eric. I can be regular, no. I spit the blood on the floor. Where did the evidence go? I guess we never would know. Pick a pedal off a rose. Pedal metal, then I gotta put you on hold. I'm sorry, the money calling. I've been falling out with friends. Like, is it all worth it? All the best. I need a new number. Need the new body calling your heart again. Soon as I do something, I'm like, new daddy's baby be falling, man. I just might sip on my dogs again. And all these who got the sauce in it. Say it's all love and me. I get the fraud again. Can't keep back company. Who even brought a man? Bounce back. Was hugging me. But none of them commas. I'm just running up. Roll up. No whistle. Big step up. Pro lift it. Like Nipsey. Get this way. No effort. Never get put on check. No. I don't keep put on next. I'm going to just put on the protect. Yo, nah, and you're not even doing Nipsey really a good service by shouting him out on this kind of beat. Like, he wouldn't ever be caught dead on a beat like this. That's it for me. I can't I can't listen to it no more. Um, I put up with it for like 2 minutes, 30 seconds. I'll say this. I liked Eric Bellinger when he was flowing, but at the same time, you know, I really was like thinking it was going to be something cool and unique. It being titled Optimal Music and this new guy named Jay, I thought maybe this guy might be unique, but really, I'm not getting any kind of vibes that strong. He sounds like Black Tuxedo, who Eric Bellinger worked with on um, Meditation Music, but that beat that he made for Eric Bellinger, um, that song was sick. I can't, I can't remember the title of the song. I think it was Frequency, yeah, Frequency, and that song was just amazing. That was like. That's definitely a vintage Eric Bellinger type of beat that he would hop on and just sing, man. But anyways, no evidence, eh, I don't really care for it. We're going to move on and play track number five. This one's titled Say Less. Once again, it's the same two artists, no features. Oh, you got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
slow jam man that was some contemporary R&B right there laying down the bars like man this gave me some like Malibu Nights 2 sequel kind of vibes man it ain't Malibu Nights but like and I'm not I hate to really add that sequel kind of tag but the vibe was so chill and relaxing and wavy like I would play this if I was you know going on the um Pacific Highway Coast, man, at nighttime, and you know you see those night lights on and stuff like that. Or you could be at the, um, at the beach chilling, and you know you got like the campfire going on. I don't know what they call it. There's a correct political term, I think, bonfire or something like that. Like that's a perfect joint to put in a playlist for that, alongside Malibu Nights, man. Like back to back, ooh. Sailors, yeah. I don't want to say no more, man. <laughs> I really, really just want to give credit to Eric Bellinger, bro. Like, when he's just being him at his best, bro. Like, Eric Bellinger at his best, he's the king of R&B, hands down, man. And I can say this with as, I won't even say, like, his, as small of a discography, because he definitely has some projects out there. He's got a good number, but, like, in terms of, like, how long he's really been in the game as an R&B singer really from the time where he kind of first popped up really on the radar um, with the Rebirth. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was popping on Born to Sing Bond 3, but I'm just going back because that's when I first heard him. I think that was back in 2015. Or was it 2013? I don't know. But either way, though, like, you know, he hasn't been in the game as long as, like, I want to say, you know, music, you know, as an artist, like Usher or even Trey Songs, but the dude really has put together quality over quantity as he's been putting out hard music you know with the exception of a couple misses but you know nobody's perfect we're gonna be missing like stuff like that but just to double check real quick when the rebirth first came out 2014 okay I should remember remember that that's the year Odell got drafted um 2014 so basically six years really of him being well known and I don't care what anyone says to me he's already a big name man. hey I love this song it was a smoothing joint I love it like it was the tempo was chill relaxed I really can't wait to have my baby here with me man oh my god we gonna really be lit in this whip you already see the lights and stuff I'm gonna set the mood right <laughs> if you know what I mean but anyways, let me go ahead and get one last track in and then I'll do a part two. Uh, sorry, y'all. I really tried to make this short, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and do uh, track number six titled Re-Up. And after that, play the last four tracks as well as final thoughts in my catalog for Optimal Music in part two, y'all. Track number six, Re-Up. Like this. Don't let me heat up. Heat up. Yeah. Wait 
and we dropping for the streets. Hey, straight out the third, I had to clean up. Yeah, I dropped the work and flipped the re up. We up to something, watch me with the straight from nothing. Ay. I'm fresh out the oven, I can bend this back and buzz it. Ay. Now I got no cousins, had to build it, ain't no other way. Ain't your average young man. Now watch me levitate. He's gonna say levitate, but you know, like everyone goes, hey, he switched it and he made it rhyme with way. Most people would just be like, hey, the whole verse. He actually kind of switched it up and made it rhyme. Eric, okay, I'll give it to you. You are a clever, clever songwriter he brought in some trends and he still put in some of his own tricks and you know and techniques into it and made it sound dope levitate go ahead hey, I can't go back for nothing these niggas always acting like you own something something I try to please niggas but they pull up with that extra way and plus 10 don't let me heat up heat up Wait till we drop in front the streets, so hey, straight out the third, I had to clean up. Clean up, yeah. Might drop the work and flip the re up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said I'm not just the flow? Long as I'm still alive, the vibe never go. And it's a marathon, so we buy heads low to a one plus five feet below. I see stress before, but the money bring them up. Chick get funny we one plus five feet below. He's talking about six feet below marathon he's basically showing love or like you know bowing his head down in respect to nipsey hustle smooth smooth that was smooth eric don't let me heat up, heat up. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till we drop and shut the streets so. hey. Straight out the third, I have to clean up, to clean up. Yeah. I drop the work and flip the re up Flip the re up Yeah Put up, put up, re up, re up <laughs> Forget it, I screwed up, man. I was trying to sing to it. I'm very prone to singing when um, artists let the beat bleed for like the last 20, 30 seconds. Don't let me catch you having you bleed the song because I will start singing. <laughs> but um, no, this was dope, though. This was dope. Um, what was I going to say? The way he was flowing on here was, it gave me similar vibes to how Trey Songs is nowadays, especially with how he's been flowing on 11 and kind of like 28. But like, in his own way, he sounded like him. He still was himself, you know, no sound biting like a certain artist that I know does it blatantly. Uh, but yeah, Eric Bellinger, I like this song. And then he was just freestyling right there with his vocals at the end. Man, um, gave me, Eric B for President Term 1 vibes, which I'll be honest with y'all, I did not like the project by first listen. I heard 